Hey, this is Dan from S1 Helmets. We're in the testing lab today doing an R&D test comparing soft foam, non-certified helmets to the S1 Lifer helmet, which meets the ASTM and CPSC standards for impact certification. We're gonna take these helmets through a series of drops, starting at a low drop point, then a mid drop point, and then a high drop point. We'll start these at two and a half feet and drop them down from there, which is an arbitrary height that doesn't actually meet any impact test certifications. And then we'll go up to 3.8 feet, which is the ASTM certification standard, and then all the way up to six and a half feet, which is the CPSC standard for a drop height. So we'll drop all these helmets, compare and contrast them, and see what happens. This is test number five. We have the soft foam helmet up at two and a half feet. We're going to drop it on hit the front of the helmet. Test number five. One, two, three, test. 86. This is test number six, and we have the S1 Lifer on the head form now. We have it up at two and a half feet, which isn't any certified standard. We're going to drop it down and hit it on the front on a flat surface. Test number six. One, two, three, test. 107. This is test number one, the soft foam helmet. Hitting it on the back of the helmet at 2.5 feet. One, two, three, test. So we had a peak G of 148. This is, this is helmet test number two, the S1 Lifer helmet, getting hit on the back of the helmet from two and a half feet. One, two, three, test. 102. Now we're bringing up to 3.8 feet, which is actually the ASTM uh, standard, and we're going to see how it does fitting it in the same spot in the front of the helmet. Test number nine. One, two, three, test. Wow, 380 G's. This is test number 10. This is uh, the S1 Lifer on the head form right now. We have it up at 3.8 feet, which is the ASTM standard drop height. We've already hit this helmet once on the front at 2.5 feet, which is an arbitrary test, doesn't mean anything, but we've already hit this helmet once. We're gonna hit it again, but from four and a half feet now at the front. This is test number 10. One, two, three, test. 168 Gs. This is test number 11. We haven't hit this helmet from the side yet. There is not a lot of padding in the side of this helmet, but this is a realistic hit that you would see and a lot of impacts, skate related impacts. We've got this up at the ASTM height, which is 3.8 feet. We're going to drop down to a flat anvil and we're going to see what happens. It spikes over 300 pounds. Test number 11, 1, 2, 3, test. 841. 841. This is test number 12. We have the S1 Lifer helmet up at three and a half feet. This is the ASTM standard test. And we're going to test it on the side. We have not hit this helmet on the side here. We're going to see what happens when we drop it from 3.8 feet. A flat handheld. Test number 12. 3, 2, 1, test. 175. This is the soft foam helmet, test number seven. We have it on the head form at seven feet, the CPSC 1203 test. We're gonna drop it down onto the flat anvil and see what happens. Test number seven, one, two, three, test. CPSC certified test. This is test number eight. This is the S1 Lifer is up at about seven feet. This is the CPSC test, the standard certifi certification test for skate helmets. And we're going to hit the front of this helmet. Test number eight. Three, two, one. Test. 164. Jeez. Test number three. We have the soft foam helmet up at the CPSC 1203 test height at seven feet at this point, and we're gonna drop that down and see how it goes. 
Test number three. One, two, three, test. Yikes. 963. Test number four is the S1 Lifeguard helmet. We have it up at the CPSC certified test. It's up at about seven feet. We're going to drop it down and see how it performs. Test number four. Ready? Testing. One, two, three. One seventy six.